plant for this week is the Mexican mint marigold. It's a beautiful uh, blooming plant, especially in the fall. It can bloom, it can grow in shade and it can grow in full sun. This is it right behind me. It's the first week in December in 2021, which in South Texas, it's still fall. We have not had our first freeze. We haven't come close to it. And here you see this absolutely beautiful color of bright yellow from the Mexican mint marigold. Doesn't require much water. It can be a challenge to propagate, but plant it, leave it alone, and here's what you'll get. The botanical name for the Mexican mint marigold is Tagetes lucida. It is native to Mexico and Central America, although for South Texas and the Bear County area, it is considered a well-adapted plant. It's a perennial. It will freeze back when we have our freezes, but it will return in the spring and will spend most of its energy getting ready for its beautiful fall foliage. Occasionally, a, a, a bloom will occur throughout the year, but it's really in the fall that it shows us the beauty of its color. It is heat tolerant. It is drought tolerant. And it can be deer resistant as long as we understand that deer resistant is a relative term. If you have a question about this video specifically, uh, please email me. Uh, my email address will be bcmg, that's uh, Bear County Master Gardener. It's a private email, but I use those initials bcmg61 at yahoo.com and please tell me the specifically the video to which uh, you are referencing. If you have uh, gardening questions in general, really a great place to start is your uh, county master gardener program and you can find them on the internet. This is the contact information for the Bear County Master Gardener Association. Here's our email address. Here is our phone number. It's either a hotline or a helpline, depending on how much of an emergency it is or how bad your crisis is. If it's a, if it's a crisis, it's a hotline. If, uh, if it's not a crisis, you just have general question, it'll consider it a helpline. In Bear County, we also have a Facebook page and you are invited to become part of it and, and interact on our Facebook page. So I hope this video was helpful and uh, and I'll see you at the next one.